And then I looked at his face and I was like, oh no. No, that's, that's something else entirely. Poo -poo. Yes. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. We are heading into an antique mall. See you in a few. Did I lead you to the treasure, Sue? You did. By accident, without realizing it? Well, I took a look at this. It's it's a plain luster rare piece, but it's nice and it's good condition. So I'm looking at this. Mm. No, 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 it's okay. We have a crack. However, let me start offloading. What does it say? Oh, the entire set. The entire set. For $6. Six dollars. So, for $6, I can walk away from a crack here and there. So, does that mean you need another... Does that mean we need another basket, Sue? I don't know. Okay. I'm going to have to start counting and see if this is three, seven, five... Uh, and it said 17, 17, um, these plates must go with it. Spaghetti. They kind of have to because we don't have 17 pieces otherwise. Three, seven, I'm gonna bring it up and I'm going to ask them. How many pieces is that? Um, seven. And uh, that's what do we have here? Two, four, five. All right. Seven and three is ten. Nineteen. Hmm. But. I mean, I don't know what to say. There's, there are no other similar pieces. There are teacups, but they all have individual price tags on them. These don't have any tags on them. So. It's very confusing. I think so. So I'm going to bring them up and find out if that's what this is. And we'll see. Okay. All right, so. Sue had lost her coke in this booth, and I came looking for it. I'm all looking for it. I was slightly distracted, and I ended up finding this guy. He's a penguin. Now, it's marked. I think that's 15. He is 20% off. Oh, you know what? He's got damage on him. I just fun sponged myself. Never mind. I was willing to buy him for 20% off without the damage. I'm not willing to pay pay that for damage. Bummer. I was so excited about the penguin. <laughs> We've got these American bisque salt and pepper shakers down here. No, no, I take that back. These are Shawnee. Puss in boots. What? Yes, I knew that. I was just playing with you. I just don't know what I'm talking about at this point. Um, these are Shawnee Puss in Boots <laughs> salt and pepper shakers. I think I want 35 for them. That's a little bit higher than I think they're asking on eBay. I haven't checked in a while. Fenton Bird is 27. Of course, everything in here is 20% is off. Um, so I'm just trying to keep that in mind. And we do really well with figurines. Our average selling price for figurines is about 20 bucks. So when I'm looking at stuff, that's kind of what I try to factor in. We've got the blue stuff. This is a bone dish, but we've only got one of them. We do well with bone dishes. And this one is marked for $50. Very careful not to break that one. Um, yeah, so maybe not here. Let's look at the next booth. 
that's a lot of figurines. I especially like this guy. Because he's carved. And he's wooden. He is $18. However, it looks like his legs have cracks. It doesn't look like they're actually repaired. It just looks like there's some cracking on there. Which would make me a little bit nervous. He might actually be foam. Or very thin wood. I don't know. $18. I'm not seeing a discount. We are going to set him back. I just don't know 18 for the cracking on his legs. I'm hesitant about that. Okay, well I have spotted a beautiful set of George Briard glasses. They are actually marked. They want $60 for them, which isn't unreasonable. Uh, but they, I, I can't sell them and make any money. So they're going to stay here. Um, the ones with the gold tend to fetch more money but the poison glasses those are the ones that um that i forget what their name your own poison they're made by george Briard. those ones have a tendency to fetch a ton of money so if you come across those buy them they're worth a lot of money uh, we're gonna pass on those they're 60 bucks it's not worth it to us but um they've got some really nice glassware some nice mid-century stuff just checking it out. Actually, what drew me to this booth was these figurines right here. These dances. Flamenco dances, if I do say. Those are fun glasses. Oh my gosh. 15 minutes. I think it's time for us to call it quits. They're closing. You hear that, Sue? Vintage alpaca planter. Hmm. 1950. This is probably a little bit too pricey for me. I've, I've just been so spoiled by Eric. I have to admit, I can get stuff for him like this for a dollar. Um, and then sell it for $20. So, you know, 20 bucks is about what I would expect to get out of this. Now this guy... They went for him seven. The fawn is really cute. Seven, I would expect to get eh, about twelve bucks for that. So there's not enough money in there to make it worthwhile to me. Oh look, why are you coming from that direction? I thought you were ahead of me. Oh I look, was. you I have an empty this. basket. Yes, I. Oh, you you found a naughty dog. Look at the look on his face. He looks very nefarious. He looks. Constipated is what he looks. And here we oh. go. The little puppy is... You know, he looks like he's up to no good. Yes. And I thought... <laughs> at first I thought, maybe it's a dog running. And then I looked at his face and I was like, oh no. No, that's that something else entirely. poo poo. Yes. That's and a Drew dog. he's six. He's five. Aww. So he's even cheaper. He's fantastic. I love him. Did you hear them say that we're done? Yes, I heard... Oh, I'm so bummed out. I'm gonna do two more booths and then I'm I'm done. I'm just gonna stretch it. Two more booths worth. We have fifteen minutes and I know you've seen the things we can do in fifteen minutes. I know, but they said please head to the front. But I've really only I only have two things up front and I already gave them permission to pack it. So I feel like I'm ahead of the game. What is it? Well, it looks Japan. It's got the faux moriage and a peacock. It's not marked, but it has that look of the mid-century Japan pieces that were knocked off very quickly for a Western market. It's pretty. It's $15, so it doesn't fall into my thrift shop prices. Mm. But I just took a look at it uh, like I say it's not marked but I would be willing to bet something I didn't value over much that it's Japan what about this oh look it's matchy matchy yeah that is not marked either 
Uh, interestingly enough, I wouldn't think this one is Japan. What does it say? Peacock watering can. It looks about the same, but it's a different bottom. Yeah. Which is one of the reasons I, I wouldn't be so That's quick to weird. bet on that. Oh, you're pretty. I know. I saw that. I was like, oh my. What is it marked? E.I. Sipple. Sipple. Yeah. Now, I don't know if that's the artist. At $18, mm. even if it is a hand-done piece, and I'm not 100% sure. No. Yeah, I think that's out of my price range. All right. Um, I just want to take a look at this little lusterware piece over here. Fifteen dollars, nice piece. Yep, made in Japan. But we're not talking thrift store prices. So let us. Continue. Oh my God! There is a dead fly in this cup. Look at that! Oh I wonder if they charge you extra gosh. for the fly. How did he end up there? I want to know his story. Do you know? How did you notice that? I was very <laughs> close to, and, and you're going to have to say thank you, Sue, for not doing this. I was at Target. I will show you. I've got pictures on my phone of the little dog I was going to grab for Juliet. Oh, my God. And it says, I poo-poo. Oh, my God. And the little God. dog poo-poos. Oh, Honestly, my Honestly, it's a poo dog. It was right at Target. That's the last thing I need in my house. <laughs> Please don't. I was afraid she might end up feeding whatever the toys that it poos out. You know, to the neighbor's chickens, I'm still sort of concerned about the whole dead chicken in the baby stroller. That thing. was quite the event. That was. I'm coming for you. Dun, dun, dun. If I can get through all of these obstacles to get to you. Hello, blue vase. $26. I need more blue. I'm going to buy this for myself. What is it? It's a giant blue vase, and it's a good price for myself. Not a good price for Reese Hill. Actually, these are really, really hard to ship. I, would, I wouldn't even attempt it, but for myself, all day long, I actually need more blue, so... Thank you. I'll take it. Mid-century blue vase. My colors for the winter are blue and milk glass. Ah, there's a lamp. See, this is what I'm like struggling with right here is this lamp. That's 26. Yeah, I agree. For you or if you were getting it as a gift. If I were to get something like that for Robin, yes. Yeah. You know, as a present, but... Yeah, for me. All day long. All right, I think we should head towards the front. They're going to get mad at us. We're pushing the rolls. Okay, well, we just got the announcement. They are, they are closing in five minutes. So we are going to call it quits for the day. As usual, we are being kicked out. We're staying yes. too long. <laughs> Um, but we're well, gonna, we found some good stuff today. Yes, we did. Uh, I was able to prove to my satisfaction <laughs> and hopefully yours that there are plenty of thrift store type buys here. Loads of stuff for under five bucks. I was not able to prove that because I bought a vase for $26. Well, <laughs> but you got a lot of nice stuff too. I did. I did. I got a few things. Um, so, did. yeah, we're going to call it quits here. And um, make sure you check out Sue's channel. She does a haul on her channel. Her channel is Sue Me. And there is always a link down in the description that you can check out. And uh, I will do my haul in the next few days where I talk about what I got and how much I can expect to get for it. Oh, and everybody, comments on Crazy Lamp Lady need to include Jocelyn will you please give Sue that lampshade from your kitchen lamp so she can show the one us with the how bread ties the one with the bread ties so that she can show us how to repair them and you're going to get a repaired lamp out of it so win-win everybody win -win. let's start pressuring her <laughs> all right well on that note I'll see you guys tomorrow later
You don't like my tidbit tray? That's that's an African fertility. Oh. It's a tidbit tray with, with giraffes. With fertility. Juliet, pick up your pistachio. Pistachio shells all over the table. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. <laughs>